Welcome to the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory, where on any given day, human specimens, food, water, animals, or an unknown powder could arrive for analysis. Testing must be completed accurately and quickly because the results will assist health officials and providers who make life-saving and life-altering decisions. Is this patient part of a foodborne outbreak? Is it safe to drink that water? Will the teenager who picked up a bat require rabies vaccination? Did the critically ill patient contract a new and deadly virus? Is that packaged meat contaminated with E. coli? What kind of genetic or metabolic disorders could that newborn baby have? The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory will deliver these answers and much more. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory provides thousands of routine tests every day. But when the state of Missouri is hit by an earthquake, flood, or disease outbreak, the laboratory will shift into emergency response mode, working long hours to handle a surge in testing while also maintaining regular services. The men and women who work at the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory perform vital functions that help detect, investigate, prevent, and control public health threats from all corners of the world. Now, let's look at how the laboratory has evolved over the years. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory has been in existence since the beginning of the 1900s and is currently in its sixth location. The Bureau of Laboratories of the Missouri Division of Health was organized in 1906 and at that time had only one bacteriologist located in St. Louis. In 1910, the laboratory was moved to Jefferson City and was housed in the Missouri State Capitol. Unfortunately, the next year, the Capitol building, mostly made of wood, was destroyed by fire after a bolt of lightning struck the dome. The laboratory has moved several times since 1911, but its longest stint was in its location on McCarty Street in Jefferson City. The laboratory was located here starting in 1978, and this site survived the historic Missouri floods of 1993 and 1995. In 2007, the laboratory moved to its current location near the historic Missouri State Penitentiary. This new, state-of-the-art building cost around $32 million and was designed by the Clark Anderson Company. The laboratory is a biosafety level 3 laboratory with limited access. It is equipped with a robust emergency power supply consisting of two large capacity generators. The facility also has extensive security and surveillance systems with internal and external cameras recording around the clock. The laboratory is supported by a staff of nearly 100 scientists and support staff who are all dedicated to delivering quality public health laboratory services. The laboratory is also the only representative in the state for the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, National Laboratory Response Network, Food and Drug Administration, and the National Food Emergency Response Network. This means the laboratory provides testing for new and emerging diseases such as Ebola, MERS, and Zika. It also performs testing for the FBI if an unknown substance is found and deemed to be a credible threat. The laboratory is certified to provide testing for food served in high-profile events such as the Democratic-Republican National Conventions, the Presidential Inauguration, and the Super Bowl. Now, let's go inside the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory and learn about the diverse and wide-ranging areas of scientific testing and data collection taking place. The laboratory is divided into multiple testing units. This includes chemistry, environmental bacteriology, microbiology, virology, immunology, newborn screening, molecular, and breath alcohol. The laboratory also has several support units. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory receives approximately 300,000 samples every year, and as a result has an output of over 7 million results per year. None of this can happen without the Central Services Unit. Workers in the Central Services Unit maintain a statewide courier system for specimen and mail delivery to and from the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory. The unit also makes sure that incoming mail and specimens are triaged and sent to proper areas within the laboratory. Central Services works with Missouri's Office of Administration to maintain the daily functions of the building. This includes air handling systems, boilers, chillers, and water systems, which help keep up with the demands of a controlled scientific atmosphere. They also collect, decontaminate, wash, and return glassware and laboratory coats to scientific staff. The Central Services Unit also maintains a warehouse and inventory of general supplies used throughout the laboratory. Workers send out hundreds of thousands of collection kits to requesting specimen submitters in any given year. This number can reach over 300,000 kits. The unit is responsible for overseeing hazardous waste storage and removal. They collect biological waste from the laboratory space four times a day. The laboratory generates and decontaminates over 23 tons of biological waste per year. Now, let's learn about the other units located within the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory. 
Environmental specimens such as food, water, and human specimens received for chemical testing are forwarded to the chemistry unit. This unit is split into two different testing areas, the radiological laboratory and the chemistry laboratory. The radiological laboratory provides testing of air, food, and water samples during any sort of contamination event, whether it's intentional or accidental. Scientists here also provide radiological testing for monitoring purposes in areas where the general public could be exposed. The chemistry laboratory provides blood lead testing for children. Scientists here also provide environmental lead testing in homes of individuals with elevated blood lead levels. They analyze specimens such as paint chips, dust wipes, and soil samples for traces of lead. They also test water samples for the presence of heavy metals and volatile organic compounds which can be dangerous or even deadly if consumed by humans and animals. The chemistry unit also provides analysis of human and food specimens for agents of chemical terrorism, such as cyanide, nerve agents, blister agents, and more deadly chemicals. The chemistry unit also works with state epidemiologists for the surveillance of opioids using newly developed and enhanced methodologies. Other environmental samples received for bacterial testing are sent to the environmental bacteriology unit. This unit provides testing for all water and food samples. The water laboratory provides testing for all private and public water supplies for the presence of bacteria. It also provides bacterial count testing for Missouri's public beaches and lakes maintained by the Missouri Corps of Engineers and the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. The unit inspects and approves samples from Missouri's public water facilities and inspects and gives certifications to milk produced in dairy laboratories around the state. The Food Laboratory provides testing for foodborne disease investigations. Scientists here provide testing in support of surveillance or enforcement actions resulting from sanitary investigations. The Food Laboratory also provides testing on packaged meat specimens and seafood testing for the National Antibiotic Resistance Monitoring System. And the unit provides testing for the Manufactured Foods Regulatory Program standards. This unit also provides testing support for state and federal investigation in suspect bioterrorism events. Finally, the Environmental Bacteriology Unit partners with the Microbiology Unit and the Molecular Unit for foodborne outbreak testing. Many nationwide and regional food recalls are a result of similar testing. If a suspected disease-causing agent is isolated from a food source, a pure culture of the agent is transferred to the Microbiology Unit for further testing. The Microbiology Unit assists in outbreak detection and statewide surveillance of various types of toxins and bacterial pathogens in humans including salmonella, E. coli, and whooping cough, to name a few. The laboratory also tests patient stool samples for the presence of intestinal ova and parasites. This includes Giardia, Entamoeba, and hookworms. The unit also does skin scrape testing for the presence of scabies and blood smear testing for the presence of bloodborne pathogens such as malaria and babesia. The microbiology unit tests for tuberculosis by culture and smear methods on respiratory specimens. Another important duty of the microbiology unit is manufacturing over 95% of the culture and biochemical media used for plating, growing, and biochemically identifying bacteria. The unit provides quality control testing on all bacteria testing media made in-house, including sterility, growth, and sugar reactions. The unit also creates and maintains media that is sent out to other locations for sample collections to be returned to the laboratory for testing. Viral specimens sent to the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory are forwarded to the virology unit. This unit performs serological testing for measles, rubella, hepatitis A and B, West Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis virus, Zika virus, and other arboviruses. The virology unit also performs culture testing for various respiratory viruses in support of the influenza program. They are also involved in gastrointestinal outbreak identification by testing for viruses such as adenovirus and rotavirus. This unit is also the only laboratory in the state of Missouri that does testing on animals for the presence of the rabies virus. This includes wild creatures such as bats and skunks, as well as domesticated animals that pose potential human exposure risk. Specimens received for sexually transmitted infection testing are taken to the immunology unit. This unit provides testing for HIV and provides testing for syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia utilizing the latest technologies. These include automated testing syphilis screening and antigen antibody screening for HIV in order to identify acute HIV infection. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory also tests every baby born in the state of Missouri within the first few days after birth. 
In the newborn screening unit, scientists test for over 70 genetic, metabolic, and hemoglobin disorders. These tests include PKU, sickle cell anemia, amino acid disorders, and cystic fibrosis, to name just a few. The newborn screening program in Missouri is a national and world leader when it comes to screening newborn babies. The laboratory is the first in the nation to test for liposomal storage disorders and the first in the world to implement microfluidics testing technology for LSDs. The unit is always busy. Scientists provide testing Monday through Saturday and on state and national holidays to avoid any lag in detection so that affected babies can be identified and treated quickly. Some newborn screening is also provided by the molecular unit. This unit performs newborn screening for Crab A and severe combined immunodeficiency. The molecular unit also provides many other tests. This unit performs polymerase chain reaction testing for viral diseases like influenza and norovirus, as well as testing for chickenpox and rule out of smallpox. The influenza testing done here provides information that is used to help determine flu vaccines for years to come. Scientists in this laboratory also use PCR to test for Bordetella pertussis, the bacteria that causes whooping cough, and for a toxin found in pathogenic E. coli. The molecular unit uses whole genome sequencing for various bacterial specimens. And this laboratory provides rapid screen testing on environmental samples for agents of bioterrorism. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory also has a small branch laboratory located in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, that houses most of the breath alcohol unit, which is used by law enforcement throughout the state of Missouri. The breath alcohol unit maintains equipment, provides technical support for the Missouri State Highway Patrol, and provides expert testimony for related judicial cases. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory relies heavily on support units to maintain functionality. The previously mentioned Central Services Unit is one of the few that are essential to the daily operations of the laboratory. The laboratory also houses the post-analytical reporting team and the laboratory preparedness education and safety unit. The post-analytical reporting team enters data results for every test received and completed at the laboratory. They also return reports to submitters, private citizens, partners, and stakeholders. They are the face of customer service for the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory. The Laboratory Preparedness, Education, and Safety Unit oversees the Missouri State Public Health Laboratory's preparedness and emergency grant and programs. The unit also provides outreach, training, and educational materials to internal laboratory staff and clinical laboratory partners in areas of biosafety, biosecurity, select agents, and packaging and shipping of infection substances. The Laboratory Information Management Systems assist all units in providing state-of-the-art technology for electronic processing and reporting of results. The fiscal staff at the laboratory assures that grant contracts and budgets are maintained in order for the laboratory to provide quality public health services. The laboratory executive management team provides leadership and guidance in support of all laboratory activities. The Missouri State Public Health Laboratory and the folks who work here are proud of the work and positive effect they have on public health. Most of the work done here is behind the scenes and many who choose to work in public health do it because they want to make a difference in people's lives. If you'd like to learn more about the laboratory and what happens here, you can visit health.mo.gov backslash lab. Thanks for watching.